Paper Crafters Library and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute and simple card that features a little punch spider. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is creating our spider. I'm using a um, medium oval punch as well as a three quarter inch circle punch. And I punched it out of some dark grey cardstock and I'm going to start by taking my medium piece over here, my medium oval, and just kind of cutting it down a bit. I want to keep the oval shape but a little bit smaller. Taking two kind of little half moons off of it. Just remove any kind of sharp corners. And then just make sure that your head is going to go well on top. Then I'm going to start by sponging the bodies over here. And I'm going to grab my dark blue and I'm going to grab a little bit of faded jean and I'm going to sponge around three of the sides. Remember you can always add a little more sponging later. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of the chipped sapphire. Actually we'll do the head also at the same time. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the chipped sapphire distress ink and I'm going to sponge the edges a little darker. Lastly I'm going to take some black soot And I'm going to sponge a little bit of black, the different sponge. Along the smallest edge so that we end up with this. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to cut, I punched out some of these arrows from the same gray cardstock. It's from this uh, triple arrow punch. You basically just want a thin about, I don't think it's even a quarter inch, but one eighth inch um, to three eighth inch thick wide strip and you're going to cut into little legs and then we can attach it to the back of the spider body with some glue. I'm starting with three on each side and then seeing it depending how it looks then I might add in the fourth leg. Now you can turn over and just kind of get an idea of how your spider is looking so far. And then decide if you want the extra leg or not. If you do, it will probably just go along the back like so. Okay, so just put a little bit of glue over here. and then let it dry. Okay, once that's dry, you're going to take your uh, quarter inch hole punch and you're going to just sponge lightly on one edge 
to create the eyes. And then you're going to start going down the eyes to your head. And the top, the whiter, the lighter portion should be at the top. Since you wouldn't, unless you're, it's going to be a spider that has a bit of a light coming from the bottom. And then you're just going to glue the eyes on. Then grab a little black Sharpie marker or marker of any sort and then you can do some little eyes. Then I'm going to grab my little third eye and glue it at the top. And let that dry. While that's drying, I'm just going to grab my spider body and I'm going to grab a black Copic marker and I'm just going to add some shadow to my leg. And I'll grab a little bit of the chipped sapphire and add a little extra shading. Then I can grab a little bit of the black set distress ink and just deepen that shading a little. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to just take my pieces. I'm going to grab a little bit of white chalk or pastel. I'm using white pan pastel myself, but you can use a nice white chalk. Add a bit of highlight. Then I'm going to put a, dim a dimensional at the back and place the head down. I'm going to have it kind of going more at the bottom. Okay, and there you have your little punch spider. He's going to be descending a little web.